I am Sridharan. I have been in the Reserve Bank of India in Bombay for about 40 years. I belong to the southern part of Punjab district and I have studied in Thiruvadurai Adhinam High School which is supposed to be in Thiruvadurai Maradur which is uh, quite about 30 to 40 kilometers from Thiruvadur. And I went to the city of Bombay in the year 1967, that was a Wednesday, 23rd of August, in search of a job. Normally, we used to go to cities those days for getting a kind of job. And my luck was very uh, nice luck, I should say, with the grace of the God and the grace of our uh, parents and also the grace of our well-wishers and parents. I got a job initially in income tax and then I jumped over to the Reserve Bank of India and I joined the Reserve Bank of India in 1969, October 6th I joined. After serving about 40 years of my service in the Reserve Bank, I retired in the year 2009, May, and I had the fortune of working under many four to five governors of Reserve Bank of India. In particular, I have been the principal private secretary to three governors on a full-fledged basis, having been working with deputy governors, executive directors, and then belonging a kind of a good officer's cadre. I got an opportunity to be with the governor. I served Dr. Reddy, I served Dr. Subbarao. And during that period, I have been asked by Dr. Reddy if I have any opportunity to go to any of the institutions if he recommends. I said, I will be happy to go. And he was particularly mentioning that I, since I belong to the southern India, uh, will I be interested in going to Thiruvaru where there is going to be a central university which is going to be formed in the year 2009. I think 12 to 13 central universities were formed at that particular time. He was mentioning that whether we could uh, get an opportunity to go and serve as the private secretary to the vice chancellor while he was establishing a new city in Thiruvaru. The moment I heard this, it was a God-given opportunity for me to come back in spite of my retirement after 2009. And immediately I grabbed the chance and I said, I'm prepared to go, sir. And then he was very happy saying that he sent a mail to Professor Sanjay saying that his principal private secretary, Mr. Sridhar, who will be retiring very shortly, will be interested in joining you as the first private secretary, the vice chancellor. And to be frank, um, I had an opportunity and I was longing for education, I was longing for more, uh, to be at least a dignified way of uh, becoming a rich. I think God has proved and God has been with me on balancing this. Once I had no money with me when I was studying, I had an opportunity of hypothetically becoming a millionaire to be very close to the governor who is the authority to sign the Reserve Bank of India currency notes and he satisfied me from that. And I had a longing for getting into my PhD, doctorate certificates and other, but I could not continue or I could not pursue my studies. But for this kind of opportunity which I had, I had to come to the Thiruvar as the first private secretary to the vice chancellor, who is the authority to sign all the PhD certificates by that. I was getting satisfied that at least if I am not studied, at least God had provided me a shelter under the vice chancellor. These two things combination put me in a very better situation for my contentment of life, I should say. The God has given me an opportunity. He has shown me a kind of path towards the southern part of this country. When I came, it was uh, in the night of August, uh, 5th August 2009, I came to Thiruvaru after visiting some of the holy places uh, in Rameshwaram, Madurai and all. I came with full of blessings of this goddess Minakshi and also the uh, Ramanath, uh, the, the uh, Rameshwaram temple. And even I came around 9.30 in the night and I was quite uh, not very sure about the location or the venue where the private secretary or where the private secretary's office or the vice chancellor was established. But I never knew, but I had a the mobile number of somebody one who came to my rescue and took me to the vice chancellor's uh, room in the inspection bungalow in uh, Thiruvaru. It was in the night around 9.30, somebody led me to that and the Vice Chancellor came uh, to receive me there as the first private secretary and that was the time that I came to Thiruvaru. During the sojourn of my tenure with the uh, Vice Chancellor's secretariat, 
slowly I had an opportunity to move with the local people of this. I could uh, get into myself involved in some of the uh, people, those who were very close to me, and then they made me so comfortable and I should be thankful to all the people, those who came to my rescue at that point of time. And that also I should say that it is the grace of Lord Tyagaraja, one who came so close to me in introducing some of the people here. And during that period I had an opportunity to be very close to the temple, which is North Madhavalagam. I got a rented house there and I was staying alone for the time being and I wanted to establish myself here. So I had called uh, my family members here, those who were able to come over here. So my wife accepted that and she came and stayed with me. And during that particular time, some people asked me to speak on some schools and other functions. And there I met one Mr. Srinivasan, who is uh, called uh, Sino uh, very uh, fondly. He came to me and then through him I had an opportunity to meet uh, Mr. Kanagaraj, Mr. Tendil and Mr. Uh, Ratnavet and all these people came to my house all of a sudden. I never knew them even. I have not faced all these people at any point of time. But when they came, I welcomed them to my house and uh, they all came in the morning and uh, we interacted. So while talking, Mr. Kanagaraj was very much interested in knowing what is spirituality and he had an idea. During that particular time, they were all undertaking a journey of every day they will have to visit the temple to keep themselves at a very peaceful life. They were finding it during these 30 days. And he was telling me that we want to grow this kind of spiritual feeling amongst the people in Vitan Thiruvaru. That gave me an idea. The second day they came and then they said that I'll have to write some script on the, on the what is spirituality. That is the beginning of this Anmigam, Anandam, which started at that point of time. Uh, and they adopted a kind of principle. This, in short, what is Anmigam and what is Anandam is. Anmigam means spirituality. Anandam is ecstasy or the joy. And Anmigam as spirituality, you will have to again say spirit plus